Hi from Bricks Mark Workshop. I already released the build video for the LEGO Technic 42100, but now I want to focus on how to have fun operating it. Can you dig it? First things first, you're going to need some kind of barrier to scoop materials up against. I used some foam board held together with hot glue and taped down with packing tape, but you could use whatever you like, a box made from LEGO, a pile of books, or whatever, that's up to you. Okay, and let's just stick this down. We're also going to need something to scoop up. There are only 100 LEGO bricks provided in this set, which isn't even one bucket load. So you're going to need a few more LEGO bricks, or maybe something else. And we're going to try a couple of different things. I have seen a video that used rocks and sand, but it looked pretty heavy and messy, so I would use something a bit cleaner and lighter if you want to get some satisfying bucket loads. We're going to start off with a thousand round Lego bricks, but before we do, let's get to grips with the controls without any materials in the way. Obviously we've got the bucket, but then the arm here, there's two parts to that. So I'm just going to call this lower part of the arm, the arm, and the upper part, the boom. Then of course we've got the tracks, and we've got the body. Two sets of sticks, we've got the upper sticks here, we've got the lower sticks here. The upper sticks just go up and down for the tracks. The lower sticks you have up and down and side to side. We'll go through what they're for. You've also got four custom buttons and you've got a couple little buttons here for opening and closing the bucket. So let's just look quickly at how that all works. So the upper sticks are for moving the tracks. So forward with both, the thing moves forward. Back with both, it moves back. And then when you do one forward and one back, it rotates on the spot and the other way. The lower sticks, the one on the left is for the arm, remember that's the lower part of the arm, is up and down. So up lifts the arm, down lowers the arm, and then side to side on the stick rotates the body. So left there, goes anti-clockwise, right goes clockwise. You can actually move both at the same time, so you can move the arm and rotate. If you just want to lift the arm up, if it's quite sensitive, so you just go off to the side a little bit, the thing can start to rotate as well um, when you're not expecting it to. So you just need to be a little bit careful there when you're using the arm um, to keep it straight up and straight down if you don't want the thing moving to the side. The right stick, you've got the boom, so that's the upper part. So if you pull back on this stick, it goes up. So in other words, that's down for up. Okay, so this is the boom control. Down, the thing goes up. Up, it goes down. There we go, and side to side on this one is for the bucket rotation. So if we go to the right, it rotates up, forward, and we go to the left, it rotates back or down. You've also got this bucket, open and close. So that's the open. You need to keep the finger on it, not just a single push until it's fully open, and then to close, same thing. Keep your finger on it until it's fully closed. Okay, so those are the, the main controls. You've also got an achievement button here in the top right corner, and then you've got another menu on the top left. So let's go over there and we'll have a quick look at what's on that section. You can just choose which model. You've got the main control panel, the custom functions, and we're gonna look at that in just one sec. You've also got the challenges section, servicing if you need to resync the model, and general options. And let's have a bit of a think about what we'd actually want to do if we are going to scoop something up. First of all, you're going to want to position the model. So you might want to move forwards and backwards. We know how to do that. You might want to need to adjust a little bit side to side using the tracks. Most of the scooping you're going to do, you want to be doing with the lift arm, but you still need to get it in the right position before you start. And then we want to get the bucket and the arm all the way back and down to the ground. And I've actually discovered the best way to do that is using a custom function. So I'll show you how to set this up. And 
right at the end, the very, very last one is reset the bucket so it's down and touching the ground. So let's select that, drag it into the timeline. If you click on the button on the lower right of the screen, you can save it there. Let's call it reset, save that. And then if we select that, and we, this time we can choose this icon here from this screen, and that shows us the uh, controller buttons, and we're gonna assign it to button one. Click on one, you can see the icon and then comes up, and we give that a tick. All right, so let's go back to the control panel now. And now when we click button one, it will reset the bucket. Now it will nicely set up for us so that we can start scooping and scraping. So that's pretty good, although I would say that looks slightly angled too high and I think um, some things getting scooped into there might just roll right out again. So to tweak that, uh, we can scoop the bucket forward a bit by moving the right control stick to the right. But it lifts off the table, so we want to get the boom down. So we're going to do that by lifting up. There we go. So that is now in the perfect position. We're ready to start scooping. You might need to readjust the position a tiny bit if necessary, in which case it's just both tracks forward and then we'll be good to go. So from here, most of the scooping and scraping is gonna be done with the lift arm. That's the left control up. And so let's see what happens when we push that forward. You see it's going forward. The bucket has been kept parallel to its original position. That's not tipping at all until it gets to a further extension. Problem is though, it's already way off the ground. And if we want to keep it low that whole time, or even touching the ground, scraping along the ground, um, then that's not very helpful. Now I have tried setting up a couple of different custom functions to do this, but because they're in sequence rather than happening at the same time, it's all a bit jerky and you still get spaces appearing underneath. So I think there's a better way of doing it. Let's reset the bucket position, let's go to go back. And this time, when we lift up on the arm to push it forward, we're also going to lift up on the control for the boom to push it down to the table. So it's up with the left stick and up with the right, but only a little bit of time just to keep it against the table, against the ground. We just keep going, to go, going with, as far with that as we can, and that's really then at the limit, then it does start lifting up. When it's at that point when it's gonna start lifting up, or before if you can, then you wanna start scooping with the bucket and scooping with the bucket is just right on the right control stick. Although when you're first learning, as it's not obvious, you don't wanna go the wrong way, you might wanna set it up as a custom function. Uh, and if you do, I'll show you how. Custom function, so let's say 45 degrees of scoop. Let's drag that in. If we want to save that, we just click the button on the lower right of the screen. Let's type it in, scoop. Done. Let's find a nice little icon for scooping. Yeah, that one there. Tick. And then assign it to button two. And that's our second custom function button. Okay, so if we go back to the control, uh, let's reset the position. Right, so this time we're going to push forward with the arm and keep it against the ground with the boom by again also lifting up until that's gone as far as it can. When it's going to start to come up, right now we want to start scooping. This time we'll try it with our button two to do the scoop for us. So that will have done all our work for us. Now, if at that point um, it's touching the barrier at the, at the back, it might not be that easy to lift things up because it might just start bashing against it. If we lift up, we'll be lifting up with the lift arm and also down with the boom. Those two things together will be lifting. So we wanna go all the way up 
especially if we've got a mining truck to dump into behind us, then we're going to need to go pretty high. Um, but let's go, let's go back down again for a sec. But if we're against that barrier, it's going to be difficult. Right, so let's say we're hitting the barrier and we're stuck. So we want to go up, but the lift arm is just bashing into the barrier. Even with the boom, when we go up, it's just getting stuck against the barrier. So what do we do at this point? Well, we want to lift up with the boom, but we actually pull back with the arm. So let's start by pulling back with the arm to take us off the barrier and then up with the boom. So you can see at that point, we're going pretty much straight up, even coming back a bit. So that's going to get us out of trouble when we're stuck against that, uh, once we're stuck against that barrier. Once we're at this point, we're free to move. So we can just go straight up on the lift arm, which extends forward as well, and pull straight back, which is down on the boom to give us maximum height. Okay, so now we can just spin around and dump our load. But before we do, I'm going to go and grab my mining truck. Okay, mining truck in place. Now we can rotate 180 degrees, press button three. Spin it around. And then we can dump our load into the truck. When you're in position, you just open the bucket. That's this little button here. That should just about make it into the truck there. And then close up there. And then we can spin back round. Go the other way this time. So I think we're ready now. Let's get some material, let's get some bricks, Lego bricks, give it a try, shall we? Okay, so that's what a thousand two by two round Lego bricks look like. They do have a bit of a tendency to spread out, not stack up terribly well. Uh, I've had to work quite hard to stack them up as well as that. But let's give it a go. Let's see if we can get a decent bucket full using some of the techniques we've been working on. So the first thing is to reset the bucket. Let's press our button one, custom function button. We're going to tweak the position by going right to scoop forward a little bit and then up to push the boom into the table. Let's move forward until we're just touching the Lego bricks. So the whole thing edges forward. Okay, we're in good position now. Now we can start scraping along the ground with the arm and down with the boom. So remember it's up with the left and up a little bit with the right. So push forward and then we edge it down to keep it down against the table. And let's keep going with that as far as we can. And at that point, it's just starting to lift up. We really want to just scoop and just get as much as we can into the bucket as we can. We can do that by going to the right or using our custom function, button number two. Not too bad a start. And then we can lift up with the arm and with the boom as well. Let's go nice and high so we'll clear the mining truck at the other side. That should do it. And we've got a custom function button three. Spin 180 degrees. And let's just tweak that a bit. The position and move forward. But it's actually going to be backwards, so it's actually down on the movement control. So that's about perfect there. Now we can hold down the bucket open button. And then they go. Not a bad load. 
I thought I'd try a few different materials to try and find the most satisfying play experience. Lego bricks are decent and not too heavy, but these round bricks don't stack up too well unless you have a lot of them. Jelly beans might look nice and colourful, but they turned out to be just too dense and heavy to be able to get a decent bucket load. Packing peanuts though are inexpensive, nice and light, stack up really well and you can get a satisfying scoop time after time. So let's get digging. So thanks for watching, give us a like if you enjoyed the video, click here to see the speed build and review, or here to see the mining truck MOC video. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell if you'd like to see more videos like these. See you soon!